love you too But lately I've been feeling like I'm not that close to you Though something's changed, I know my aim is still to please you But I can feel I need to change I really do See everything I've ever learned Questioning my thoughts, my motives, my emotions Are they helping me? Jesus, search me If it hurts me, I cry but please Continue looking for the woman I'm supposed to be Hey everyone, Madam Ro here today. I know it's been a while since the last time you guys heard from me. Um, I've just been kind of taking a little hiatus from, you know, YouTube and, you know, just all the, like the little different crafting sites and all that. Um, and just taking some time out for myself and really I've been through a lot this year. Some of you uh, may know, others may not, but um, I'm going to do a separate video. Um, just to share with you guys a little journey that I'm going on um, in my life at this point. And um, I wanted to share with you guys a couple of projects that I've been working on. And um, lately I've been trying to kind of find my self, I guess, artistically. Um, and... I made a decision to start like pouring my soul and really connecting with my inner self whenever creating a piece and kind of pulling out my emotions, my feelings and everything that I'm feeling at that moment um, and into my artwork. So um, I've decided to go ahead and take some fine art classes. So I'm currently doing that now and I've just been learning about different techniques and things of that nature. And, and I decided to go ahead and start art journaling um, just to kind of be in the moment of how I'm feeling uh, in the present. Um, and learning how to let stuff go. But anyway, that'll be a whole separate video. I'm getting all like <laughs> intellectual and deep on you guys. But um, this I wanted to share a Zeus and Zoe design team project. I used some of the Lindy's and stuff that was inside of the kit on um, the project that I'm going to share with you. Um, I did an art journal page. This was my very first art journal page. Um, and this came from my heart. And um, like I said, I've been taking classes or whatever. And I've really been into like the abstract art um, feel. So this is just an abstract painting that I did. And I loved it so much that I um, framed it. I actually did two general pages and I'll share my second one with you um, next week. Um, and then I also did like a separate abstract realism painting on canvas that I wanted to share with you the progress on. Um, but that, without further ado, it's already like almost three minutes and I'm just rambling. So let me go ahead and share with you um, my framed art journal page. So here is my first art journal page and it has a lot of colors. It's very vibrant and I was just feeling colorful and very passionate at the time um, that I created this and I just wanted to kind of get messy and have fun and just kind of be all over the place. So um, I used a lot of different mediums. I used um, some Lindy's. I used some acrylic paints. I used some watercolors. I used some oil um, pastels, distress inks, everything. And um, I was feeling kind of edgy so I incorporated um, some spikes and rips and things of that nature um, in this piece. So it just spells out passion. And I know the P is kind of getting lost there. But here's the P. I used some Tim Holtz grunge board letters to spell out the word passion. And then the A in the passion I did out of spikes. And you can see the dimension on that. Needless to say, I couldn't. I had to take the glass out of this frame 
in order to, to put it in. Um, and then I use um, a quote. It says, great passion can elevate the soul to great things. And I just printed this off and, and tore it out and distressed around the edges of that. I used some little studs here. Um, I created this little heart over here. did a lot of stamping and things of that nature. Just kind of distressed this. added some safety pins there. And then behind here, added some lace. So I had lots and lots of fun doing this. This was so freeing and liberating for me. And I absolutely am addicted to art journaling now. And I've just been painting um, every day since the day I started this. <laughs> my first art journal page. So um, this is my Zeus and Zoe design team project. And I absolutely love, love, love how this turned out. I am going to actually start paint doing a lot more painting, um, which brings me to my next thing. I am going to kind of change the way I do my uh, video. I'm going to focus more on crafting and creating more on a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? practical nature like more DIY type videos um, and tutorials so um, beginning January um, I'm not going to do so many so much of like you know hey look what I made type videos it's going to be more of tutorials and the, the types of crafts is either going to be like painting like showing you know my art pieces or doing tutorials on DIY stuff for around the house and things of that nature. So um, I'm, I'm just going to go on a new journey, a different route. Um, and whoever would like to stay with me on this journey, I would love for you to come along. Um, I'll do a separate video because I feel like I'm rambling on about, and this is supposed to be my Zeus and Zoe design team video. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll do a separate video and just kind of share with you guys where I'm at and what's why I've been gone and what's going on, on in my life at this moment in time. Um, and I also wanted to share with you a painting that um, I did on canvas. I did this last night and it is an abstract realism um, painting and it's just on canvas board. Um, I'm not all the way finished. I still have like a few little tweaks to do on it, but I absolutely love the way it turned out. I call this Afro Bella and it is just a tribute to all my natural Lisa's natural divas out there. Um, I made a person with this huge Afro, um, and then I kind of made her nude just to symbolize like her confidence in beauty, um, and then I also wanted to make it kind of like symbolic of like a tree, like the tree of life and just life of beauty and confidence. Basically, I wanted to pour out into this piece. So that's what I did. Um, and I actually did this as a part of an assignment for a class that I'm taking um, to do um, an abstract realism painting so I I'm very proud of myself this is t normally like out of the box for me so um, it didn't turn out the way all the way that I imagined the way that it would turn out but I'm pleased with it I still have a few more tweaking to do but um yeah so here it is it's a lot of texture and I use um, some oil pastels acrylic paints and watercolor on this and then I did a lot of distressing here to give it some texture and movement in it so yeah there's that and then I'll show you one last look of my journal page there so thank you guys for watching and I will be doing a separate video for those of you most of you who follow me on Facebook I already know um, kind of the direction I'm going so uh yeah so be sure to check out my blog for still photos of this journal page 
and um, be sure to go check out the Zeus and Zoe store, Etsy store, and you guys have an awesome day. Bye.